Hello and welcome to Charger Games. My name is Raja and this is another episode of how to create a 2D car racing game with Unity. So in the last video we have created the score for our game. So in this video we're gonna create some buttons that will appear on Game Over. So as you can see as of now if I play the game and when the Game Over happens uh, there's nothing to restart the game or go back to main menu or to exit the game So we have to actually pause this game uh, We have to actually restart from a unity editor so that we can play so in this video. We're gonna add Three buttons here so that whenever the game over happens here. We see our replay button a back to menu button and another button that's exit button so using these buttons we can again replay or we can actually exit or we can go back to main menu so this is very very important so let's get started so first of all we have to actually create three buttons but we already have created this pause button here and as you can see that we basically want to uh, want the template of our new button to be the same or the design to be the same so what we can do is we can right click and duplicate this pause button so here we have another pause button and let's go and rename it to play uh, replay okay so we have this replay button now in this replay button we don't need this uh, okay let it stay here so here we have the replay button now we're gonna again duplicate it and this time we're gonna name it menu okay and now again we're gonna duplicate it and this time we're gonna call it exit so these three buttons will do what they what I have written here so just let's grab the first button just click on the first button as you can see the first button is selected oops let's zoom it out and I'm gonna place it right here and I'm gonna also scale it a bit okay now make sure to uh, place it at the center like this okay now for the menu just select it and put it right here and there and just increase it a bit and now the exit button just put it here at the center and make sure to scale it right okay so now three of our buttons has been created so let's uh, let's just change the text of these buttons so let's select the replay button and from the text property where is that hey where is the text property man okay <laughs> I'm sorry okay just just click on the rectangle and just unparent it and in the child you will find the text property and from here just change the text to uh, replay okay or make it play I think play should be better okay now do the same for the menu in the menu change the text to menu and for the exit just change the text to exit so now we have actually set up these buttons and their texts so now what we have to do is whenever we press this button we have to actually call the functions that we want whenever we we want uh, okay let's put it this way I want whenever I play the whenever I press this play button I want this game to be reloaded again and this level to be reloaded again so that we can play this game again and whenever I want to we I press the menu button I want to back go back to the main menu okay the other scene and whenever I press the exit button I want the game to be quit I want to quit the game okay so let's go and first of all create those functions inside our UI manager script so let's open the UI manager script and inside uh, first of all let's go and create few functions 
and make sure to name, make those functions public because we're gonna call this from UI and if you remember from the previous episodes we have to make it public in order to call it from the UI buttons so first of all let's make it public void uh, replay okay so using this function what you're gonna do is we're gonna just do application dot load level and we're gonna name it the application dot loaded level so what this means is you guys know that application dot load level just loads a level uh, and we have to pass the string the name of that level here so here it just says that just load the level that is already loaded so application dot loaded level means the level that is already loaded we have to reload it so here this level is loaded and whenever the game is over we're gonna restart this level whenever this replay function is called now let's go and create another function that's gonna just send us to main menu so public void menu and this is gonna oops <laughs> what I've done okay this is gonna send us back to main menu let's put a gap here and so we're gonna write application dot load level and we're gonna write menu I can't remember what I have actually named that level let's just see the name let's go to scenes folder and I have named it I think okay first of all let's leave the scene save scene now let's go to the menu okay so I think I have named it menu okay so I'm gonna say so I'm gonna say application at load level within strings menu okay so now what will do what will happen is this will just load the menu level or menu scene whenever this menu function is called now next thing we have to do we have to create public void another function that's exit so whenever this exit function gets called we want to do application dot quit application dot quit so what this happened is it just quits the application or exits the application okay so let's back go back to the level one okay so here we are now we have to add the functionalities to our button so that whenever we press those button actually these functions get called so just click on the canvas and from here just select the replay button and as you can see the UI manager script is already attached here UI manager object is already attached here and uh, since we have actually duplicated it from the pause button and the pause button is already uh, the the pause button is already associated with the UI manager and the UI manager script so that is why we have access to that in this buttons since we have duplicated it from the pause button so in the replay button you have to just change the function from here since we have UI manager script actually attached here so we have just to change the uh, change the function that we want to call from here so as you can see here it is written UI manager at pause and we have to change it to UI manager and let's select the replay okay so this replay okay I think I have already created a play button play function here okay I have already actually created a play function in previous uh, videos so I think I don't have to create this replay function here so let's go and delete that okay since we can already load that from here so so in the replay just select this and UI manager and select play so now whenever this play button gets called this play function from our UI manager script gets called now let's go and do the same thing for the menu from the menu just change it to UI manager menu and from the exit UI manager exit so now this particular functions from this UI manager script gets called whenever we actually press this buttons okay so let's go and play it and see what happens so as you can see if I get destroyed if I click the play button now the game gets reloaded again play button game gets reloaded okay so and if I press the menu button as you can see I am 
I am back to the main menu and if I press the play button I can play it again and if I press the exit button the exit will not work right now since we haven't actually built the game when we will get the exe or the apk file after building this game completely the exit button will work so we have added functionality functionalities to this button so that these buttons work correctly but the biggest problem right now is we don't want these buttons to be right here all the time we want these buttons to be come here to come here whenever the game is over and we want them to go whenever the game is playing again so this is the functionality that I'm gonna implement in the next video so in the next video we're gonna actually uh, activate these buttons whenever the game is over and deactivate them whenever the game is running again so this is it for this video I hope you guys enjoyed a lot I have enjoyed a lot and if you hope you guys learned something if you have any questions or comments just write those in description below I'm sorry write those in comments below and thank you very very much for watching this video I hope it helped and thanks and have a great day